All right, this one's for people that want to write a markdown uh, using Google Drive. So this one is a plugin I just started using. Uh, so let's go to connect more apps here. Um, but this one's called Stack Edit. All you gotta do is search for Markdown here, and we're gonna install the Stack Edit. Just click on Connect, and you have it installed. After that, if you wanna uh, create a new one, you click on Create, and there you go, Stack Edit. And what I like about this one is that you know you write your Markdown syntax, and on the uh, I guess the right side here, they actually give you a live preview. So. For example, let's write some markdown syntax here. So let's say, for example, uh, you know, YouTube testing, and you see it will give you the live uh, preview of how it will look like instead of just uh, our plain text over here on the left side. So as, if you know how to write uh, markdown syntax, it's really not that hard. You know, you have these pound signs for headings. So this one's like medium, right? And then, you know, the more pound size you have, it'll get smaller, and, and so on and so forth. If you want to do, uh, well, if you don't know, like, the syntax, you can always use this, um, uh, this toolbar up top here. So, for example, I want to do it in uh, the listing with numbers. And there you go. We'll go, I don't know, red, blue, green, or something like that. Listings. Or if you want to do, uh, what is that, bullets? Um, you can use this one up here, and this one will be you know, these bullet points basically. So we do one, uh, two, three, you get the idea. Now, the thing that I like about this one, uh, with Markdown instead of uh, the Google Docs one, is that especially when you're writing command line codes or maybe scripting or something like that, uh, it's just much easier with this to be more readable than the other shits. Google Docs is mainly for doing your homework or essay or something like that, but it's not really good for like coding and uh, you know making it look pretty on your eyes so that you can see all these stuff really clearly. So for example, this one is mainly for like coding slash uh, command line stuff. Um, if I spell coding right. There you go. And so, for example, let's say you know you do some steps or tutorials that you follow, pseudo Pac-Man Y or something like that, or did I do that right? I didn't do it right. Or you do like a get update, right? Now with this one, you can actually surround it with what they call this here. Not that one code samples and you see that it looks uh, nice you know that this one is codes and you can just copy and paste it real quick uh, so that's what I've been started been using I mean before I was using let me show you an example here before I was using this uh, which I think I still gonna use but this one was my uh, Vim wiki and this is how I would write it on here and basically these were you know markdown codes and all that too but uh, it doesn't have the live preview so that's why I didn't really like it as much so I think I'm gonna migrate all my stuff to uh, Google Drive using uh, stack edit here right so that's all you gotta do with this program it's really not that hard and if you want to learn how to use markdown or you want to learn how to write markdown codes uh, really not that hard just search for markdown cheat sheet on Google and this was the first um, website here right so what did we do before this with the headers so the more pound size you have the smaller it gets look at this here it starts big and then gets smaller 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 and also these other ones for um, bold and italics and stuff like that using uh, let me give you an example of that here so this one this one's for uh, bold and italics right so this is bold uh, so for example you want this bold you just hit the uh, control B or you can go up top here and hit this big B here or if you want the italics you can hit this one here 
and I'll show you the code. So basically, the code is uh, double star on each side. Uh, and this one is single star on each side. And that's it. You can see that this one's bold here, and this one's italics. Um, so that's really all you gotta learn about writing uh, syntax for a markdown. And you can give it another name. So this one we'll call it uh, YouTube Testing. And after that, um, you can sync it. Let me make it smaller here. There you go. There's this little um, syncing button here. And you can sync it. And it'll actually save it to your um, your Google Drive, which, which should change in a few minutes here. It's kind of slow. There you go. It says YouTube Testing here, right? And the good thing about this one, which I haven't tried yet, but uh, you could do, is that if you want to sync this or upload it somewhere else, you can you can upload it to your Dropbox, uh, which you have to do some other stuff in here, which I haven't tried. If you want to publish it, they actually have different places you can publish. Uh, Blogger, so your you know your blogging account, uh, Dropbox, and this is your GitHub or your GIS if you want to share your code. Uh, I guess this is another Google Drive thing here. Your SSH server, your Tumblr, your WordPress. So if you want to do that from here, you can do that. There's some other settings you can do in here. Um, I don't know what else you have. Different themes, advanced here. So this one is basically your your default templates you can change if you want. I didn't explore that yet. It's a shortcuts, so either Mac or PC. Right, then what else is here? Not that important. Anyways, that's it for the program, or not the program, I mean uh, this service here, the stack edit. Uh, if you want more space, you can hit this little arrow and you can write it and you know, maximize space. Over here, if you want this uh, preview to be full screen, then you can do that. If you want to get out of it, you hit this uh, button over here. Anyways, that's Markdown for uh, Google Drive. The only thing I'd say bad about this uh, service is that, you know, Google is known for like indexing your stuff. However, they don't actually index any of your, uh, um, the contents inside of it. Like all these stuff in here, you can't really search it in uh, your Google Drive because it doesn't uh, index those. It only index the file names, so you can actually search for your file names, but not the contents inside. I mean, what the fuck, right? Google is known for like uh, indexing everything, and the one time I want them to index it, they don't do it. What the fuck? Anyways, it's still a uh, a good uh, service or an add-on to Google Drive if you want to use it. Definitely use it for coding if you want to do that. That'll be it for this one.